Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, nah, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. Oh, hey! Hey, everybody. We're back. We are back. Boy, it's been... I, I don't even know since when. Uh, I, I'm nervous Before out Christmas. there. You know when you leave New York, you come back, you, you kind of turn into a house cat out there. I mean, you're ferocious. You're a lion when you live here. No, you, you're lying, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm lying like a rug. But you know what I mean? You leave New York, and then you come back, and you're like, ah, there's a homeless guy jizzing in my face. There's a bus going by with people looking at me. There's cold. There's wind. There's rats. There's gays. Do you feel this when you come back? What am I? What was I doing? here why am i here uh the Be- um, the imposter sin because i i think about you know my Who blood pressure my, my blood pressure is higher than uh you know my father's asshole Giraffe after uh, whatever yeah <laughs> and um, uh what's that for who, who started uh, somebody that? got that down in the books and didn't write his name down yeah <laughs> Because that's a key. There's a million of those out there that no one knows who thought of. It's pretty good. So I heard somebody <laughs> say that on stage recently. I don't know if it was an old video. Speaking of old videos, I tried watching New Jack City. Ah, uh, Pookie. Uh, Pookie. Because Chris, I saw Rock. That's a whole other tale. Oh, we got so yeah. much to catch up on. I Watch saw Rock. Tale. He referenced, uh, he did a great bit about Will Smith, but he referenced New Jack City. And I was like, man, I haven't watched that in 25 years. I popped it in, and I popped it out. That movie <laughs> stinks on ice. Ice tea, I believe. Ice tea, and then the, the camera's all sideways, and it's like Wesley. It looks like a sketch. Really? It doesn't hold up. Ah, uh, well. I don't know if it was ever up to I hold up. I don't think up. it was that up. It was just, there wasn't movies like that for a while. I guess. By the way, I'm so gassy. Ooh. It fell out. Oh, man. That was a sketch. A weird, like a, a tuba. I wasn't born so much as I fell out. Nobody seemed to notice me. But what were we talking? Oh, the blood pressure through the roof. Oh, I think if I if I think if I lived left New York City, it would be down in ten minutes. The city is brutal. It the the stress is silent killer. It gets right into your asshole and twists. It's just walking up the steps to get here. I get off at Grand Central, and there's a three hundred and fifty year old guy just walking up the steps. So you go around him, and there's a four year old. So you go back behind him. Oh yeah. And then a homeless guy grabs your ass. It's horrible out there. It's wild. And I was just in the jungle. I had my feet up drinking. I drank my face off from noon to sundown, and then I would drink again at sundown, and I'm in a pool all day. I'm looking at fucking le- zebras and shit. I don't know what this is out here. I feel like a Crocodile Dundee. I'm like, oh, what's that, a Puerto Rican? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's, it sucks, and it's no place to be, but I feel for you because I know the feeling with... It, it, it's it's hard because the longer you're out and off the grid or whatever yes, and grid. out in the woods and barefoot and, and oh, fucking fucking your ass in Africa. Ah, I was a gay guy. Well, whatever. But then you come back and you feel like you got all the emails. Because if I oh. if I don't look at my phone, if I go to the movie theater, I come out and there's 17 emails and four texts and three queefs, and I want to kill myself. Yes. Well, so not just lost. that. That was a squeaker. <laughs> That was a, like a Vespa horn. But uh, the other thing is, you're off off kilter, so I got jet lag. Mm. I got 17 flights up my ass. They lost our bags. I haven't been home yet. Lost the bag. The classic. Classic. And I'll tell you all about it. I got a, I got Please, a I'm here. I got a Schindler's List. I'm all ears and herpes over here. Oh, oh yes, yeah. yes. The Patreon. We've kicked it up a peg, a notch. Peg me. Uh, Chuck just fucking... Put that thing in a four wheel drive and went up a mountain with it, and uh, it's we helped. Yes, yes, uh, no, yes. It's a I team. Mean, it's, it's our content, but he organized it. And no, had we're some a good ideas. team. We're a good team. It's, it's team. all of us together. But team. the Patreon it, it went up by ninety percent. So thanks to everyone that signed up. You dove into the. I was picturing MacGyver when he dives under the thing. Oh, great opening. Great program. Howard Dean Stanton. No, Howard Dean is the the duck. <laughs> That's Howard the Duck. <laughs> right. Howard minute. Dean was ha! 
<laughs> Who's that? He was the senator or the governor. He was a Democratic <laughs> candidate, and he went, we got to go in! Ah! And he got canceled for going, ah! Did he? Yes, he was out. They like, dropped him right out of the race. And then, you know, and then what? Trump was like, I shoved my foot in a woman's pussy and she likes it. And they were like, no sweat here. Yeah, yeah, locker room talk. Which, which is fine. I like whoever you like. But ho- poor sure. Howard Dean is the point. He was like, I like winning. And then they were like, get out of here, you piece of shit retard. Well, I want to meet this guy. He sounds like a ball of laughs. Oh, I think he hung himself or he's ah. on heroin. He's probably under in the basement. Ah. Fucking. Ah. You've seen the clip. He's seen the clip. It's I don't fun. know if I have. I don't oh, know this Dean. That's it, oh, great. It's good fun. You I mean, a Jimmy Dean. Jimmy Dean was the hot dog. Yeah, the, the sausages. sausages. He used to have a boat in Booth Bay Harbor, Maine. <laughs> Everyone would go, that's Jimmy Dean's boat. And yeah. I, was a kid, thought it was James Dean. Ah. Like he had a boat and somebody carried it on. I wonder if it was son. James Dean and had to switch it to Jimmy just to differentiate. Possibly. Uh-huh. But who well, was... it sounds like a sausage party, either way. Wait, who... There was someone else we were trying to get to. Howard Dean. Oh, yeah. What were we Howard talking Dean. to before that? That's the MacGyver guy. He had a name. Richard Dean Richard Anderson. Richard Dean Anderson. Anderson, RDA. Which reminds me of the great Dean, uh, Robert Dean. Yeah, you know, that story funny guy. It's a story with Alan, Alan, our therapist. He left Alan, he does it on stage. He left Alan because he was sitting there. This is Robert Dean, great comic, very funny guy, very handsome. Beautiful man. Yes, and uh, he was in therapy and Alan said, you got to ask, you got to please one person and one person and only, and that's Richard Dean. Ah. <laughs> and, uh, his name's Robert, and so he was like, that's i got to get funny. out of this relationship. Funny guy. Didn't know he was hot, too, which I like. I love a guy who's hot and doesn't know it. He doesn't know he's hot. He didn't know. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, he had low self-esteem, and you go, "Your boy, you're handsome, and you go, I don't know. Hot. Like, he could have cleaned up. I got the same problem. Yeah, it must be tough. That's why I like you. You're yep. hot and you don't know it. You got that right. No one else knows it either. But back to Africa. Is that a movie? Uh, out of Africa. Out of Africa. Well, that's me. That's, I'm out. Uh, that's Bogart, yeah. I, I came out. And, uh, I mean, where to begin? This is a saga. It's international. It's intrigue. It's heartbreak. It's laughter. It's vomiting. It's got it all. And you guys getting along? You like each other? Ah! It didn't end great. Okay. But, uh, boy, we started with a bang. At least it ended. Yes. I never liked her from the get-go. Oh, she's going to hear that and clip it and cut it. Oh, boy. All right. Well, Just kidding. She's a nice lady. Yeah. She okay. had a good run. So, I don't know if you knew this, but... Uh, You're gay? Well, let me set the table. That we all knew, but... So, I set up this trip. I got my agent to do it. But I set up this whole excursion to Africa, South Africa, want to go on safari. But there's a window, Jerry. Mm. You can only, they, they have these packages. So we wanted to go for Christmas, New Year's. Mm-hmm. But since I'm an idiot and I don't know how to plan anything, I booked it for the 2nd to the 10th. Okay. Not but so bad. Not so bad. But Who wants to do New Year's in Africa? It's like two days ahead of our New Year's. Is that right? Ah, I don't know. Is no, it like probably China? not. Like Chinese New Year's in March. Oh, I know, but I just meant like time zones. Ah, uh, I, I see. Think. Maybe. Well, either way, yeah. I want to do something for New Year's. Okay. So now we're off on the second. That's no good. So I said, let's go to Amsterdam before we go to a- Africa, do some drugs, get fucked, you know, watch some sex, go nuts. Fantastic. Way better than Africa. Well, we get there. Well, hold on. We got a lot to cover here. So oh, we boy. Uber to the airport. Sure. The flight was, I believe, it uh, it was an overnight flight. Mm -hmm. It's a seven-hour flight. So we're going to leave at like nine. No, we're going to leave at seven, (laughs) get there at like five in the morning. Okay. So it's seven o'clock flight. I look at the the watch there. It's four o'clock. We go, ah, we better Uber. We barely make it. The Uber gets stuck in traffic. It's rush hour. I didn't plan any of this. You know, they tell you you got to be at an international flight. I'm looking at it, it says preferably three hours ahead. Yeah, they just want you to think that. They it's want more you to like think two that. and a half hours. So the flight was at six. So I go, okay, what are we doing here? We're in traffic. It's like five. It's five. We have bags to check. She's got the big bag. She's Tina Turner with the fucking uh, wigs and the tashikis. Morning mist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we, we're, we're like, we're going to miss our flight to the honeymoon. This is horrible. This is a horrible start. I can't plan anything. I didn't think about it. Rush hour to JFK in an Uber. 
we're already starting off. We're fighting. She's like, why would you leave so late? I'm like, I didn't know there was going to be traffic. Like, you didn't know there was going to be traffic? I'm like, well, you didn't help either. Well, we, she's, she, can, she can be responsible, she's too. She's a little responsible, but somehow this is, I think, Jesus, God, that's horrific. Wow, what is this, Auschwitz? My Lord, that's a gas. All right, it's a gas, gas, gas chamber. But uh, so we get to JFK. Okay, so you made it. Listen to this. We All get to right. JFK at 5.38. So the we're going. Flight leaves at six. The flight leaves at six. So we're going. Well, this is crazy. We'll never make it, and we got to check bags. Okay. So we get there. The airport's bananas. It's jammed. Yes. There's the guys outside on the on the strip there. You know, on the sidewalk. Yes. And Sunset we. Strip. Yes. And I go. Let me give them the bags. Okay. Because uh, otherwise you got to go inside and check them. I go. We might be able to save a minute if we give the bags out here. Sure. The outdoor bag guy. Yes. Which I've never used. No me either. ODB. So I always have my big joke where someone's helpful. I go, ah, you should uh, have a tip jar. <laughs> you know, the guy at the bank, I say that or whatever. Yeah. Never gets a laugh. But it's not funny. All right. So <laughs> the guy goes, I put the bags in. I go, sir, my flight's at six. What are we, crazy? It's international. We'll never make it. And he goes, you're going to make it. And I go, Come holy on. shit, you got to have a tip jar. He goes, I do. Oh, go, oh, oh, that's Christ. good. Now that's funny. <laughs> you should do that line. <laughs> this guy's out that's of a John a Hughes line. movie. I mean, that was like a plane trains. <laughs> I Woo! cannot believe how bad your asshole smells. <laughs> I haven't eaten. It's African. It's, it's, it's still in. <laughs> it's wild. I mean, <laughs> it's just, uh, I've been eating just, elephant meat for a month. Uh, offensive. But, uh, so, oh. oh, that is horrific. God uh, damn. Oh, you have a tusk in there, would you? <laughs> Fucking <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I haven't slept in three days. I'm on a seven-hour flight. Okay. So we get in. The bags are checked. How about this? We get into JFK. Yes, okay. There's a line around the block for checking bags. Of course. It's the holidays. It's New York City, the holidays. Have you ever seen a film? I have never seen a film, but I'm like, hey, why wouldn't they go outside? Check it out there. Oh, I don't know. They don't know about outside. So I was passing by everybody going... Check it outside. Check it outside. They didn't know what I was talking about, but I was trying to be nice. I sounded like a weird rapper or something. So we get in there. We make it. The plane boards at 6.05. We whiz through. I got clear. I get her in the clear. She doesn't have clear, but I'm like, she's with me. I'm doing that whole thing. Sure. The guy recognized two's gay at clear. Okay. JFK. He goes... We get right through. When you have no bags, it's easy peasy. Sure. Japanesey. Get right through. Now, how about this? We get on the plane, coach, seven-hour flight. She's furious. We get on the plane, and they goes, beep. Uh, we're going to have to sit on the runway for a while. We got a bit of a problem. And you're like, ah, oh, geez, we fucking raced here. We made it. We're sweaty. We're gay. What could it be? Maintenance, weather? Is the whole thing canceled? The guy goes, someone in the front First class area, once off the plane, and by law, we have to let him off the plane, and we have to get all the bags off, find his bag, give it to him, and put all the bags back. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, so the lady comes by the the flight lady. What do you call the waitress? Stewardess. Flight attendant. Yes. So she comes by, and I go, so what's going on? What's this about? And she goes, the guy in the front of the plane had a premonition, just sitting there. He just goes, I can't go to Amsterdam. He had like a oh, uh, I hate a vision. These, I hate whatever. these people. The you know visions. This guy? Oh, I hate Final this. destination. I, I fucking guess. hate yes. these people. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so I don't give a shit. Idiot. You want to get off the plane? You, you killed your wife. You feel bad about it. You can't go back to Amsterdam. Whatever it is, you're a fugitive. But we got to get the bag off. So you see the fucking guys out there going. Oh, because they're looking for his bag. He's going no, no, no. And I'm like, <laughs> the whole thing took an hour he and a half. Get his bag. No bag. Well, I you had a premonition. You get your bag in two weeks or whatever. I <laughs> premonition your bag's going to Amsterdam. <laughs> That's what I thought. But then I realized that'd be a great terrorist move. You throw a bag on a plane. Ooh. You get on the plane. You have a premonition. Now you got a bomb on the plane, and That's you're off uh, at the, the mini mart. That's not bad. Uh huh. But so they don't let him off until the bag's off? They let it all off. Well, the bag took an hour and a half to find, so he was off. He was at the lounge with an highball. But that's what I mean. Even still, the bomb could go off then. Ah, this is true. Either way, I hate these people that are like, <laughs> I just had a bad thought, whatever. I told yep. you, I did that to my friend Donnie Cedar. I feel bad. I should apologize. I did it in like, middle school. I thought it was funny. I was like, man, I had a dream last night that you're going to die on Friday. Ooh. And it was real. I was like, I'd be careful. 
And he said later, he was like, that was the worst day of my life. I was wow. freaking out. Yeah. Well, that's the other thing about the premonition is you start going, maybe there is something going on. Because, <laughs> you know, you're just sitting there with uh, your ass up your, an- your ass or your thumb up your ass. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> maybe there is a problem. And, you you, you know, you start ruminating. Sure. Oh, like this God. fart. Oh, yes. God. Hey, folks. Here we are. Tuesday's story is brought to you by DraftKings. We're one step closer to the Super Bowl, baby. And the NFL divisional round. Check out DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. New customers can bet $5 and get 200 in free bets instantly. woo you got to love DraftKings because you can bet on all these things without going to the sportsbook casino with a bunch of fat cigar-smoking queefs. You can't ever get a seat. The waitress takes forever. You end up drinking seven Heinekens, and the whole thing costs $9 million. Then you lose the money. Then you got to go to the buffet and kill yourself. So just get the DraftKings. All new and exciting customers can take a shot and an even bigger payout with DraftKings. Slap. Or stepped up game parlays. Boost your NFL winnings with each leg you add up to 100%. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code TUESDAYS. New customers can bet $5 on the NFL divisional round and get 200 in free bets instantly. Damn. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with promo code TUESDAYS. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See you showing up for details. Hey, folks, Tuesday's Story is brought to you by Manscaped. You know we love these guys. They just sent me a new box. I've been trimming pubes, b-hole hairs, bush, taint, nips, ears, nose, throat. Wait a minute. If you're uh, still using your ball trimmer on your face, listen up. Manscaped just announced their brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. The beard is the cordless trimmer. The Beard Hedger is the cordless trimmer of your dreams and gives you 20 haircut links from Mr. Clean to Grizzly Adams and everywhere in between. And it's waterproof so you can shave in the shower or the lake. And since Manscaped wants you to have all the tools for the job, they're throwing in a beard brush and comb and scissors to make you look like a million bucks. This is high-end stuff, folks. I I look like a barber here. Uh, I should get a white coat. And an Armenian accent, because I can trim up anything, baby. And I love trim. Get 20% off and free shipping with code TUESDAYS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with the free shipping at manscaped.com and use code TUESDAYS. Manscaped, beard hedger, one stroke, one guard, 20 lengths. You got to do it, folks. Thank you. Hey, folks, Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by Mint Mobile. Why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month on your phone bill? Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save with phone plans starting at just 15 bucks a month. What the hell am I doing? Making saving money by switching to Mint, the easiest New Year's resolution to complete. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest network, 5G. Love your current phone? No problem. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily in minutes with eSIM. I got to do this. I'm paying out the yin-yang. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get a plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash Tuesdays. That's mintmobile.com slash Tuesdays. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash Tuesdays. Get on it. Well, by the way, my side note, our friend Diane, who's a Tuesday, she was on her way to Ireland and the flight, they missed their flight because they had to check their bag, whatever, they had to go pick up their bag, mm. went there, missed the flight. They said, we'll get in the next flight. They get on the next flight. So she has the premonition, what if something goes wrong? Because uh-huh. we're not on the flight we're supposed to be on. Yes. Then they start to take off. Right when they take off, 10 minutes into takeoff, Come fire on. on the engine. Yeah, fire on the mountain, run, boy, run. Uh-huh. Devil's in the house of the rising sun. They had to fly back and uh, with the f- engine on fire. And like they what? were like, everything's fine. And fire trucks came. Oh, yeah, she got the video, the whole thing. And they came and sprayed it down. But yeah, engine caught fire. Missed Christmas. 
Couldn't Whoa, go to Ireland. But they're alive. They're alive, yeah. Well, you know the Seth MacFarlane story. Yeah. yeah. Everybody knows that one. Yeah, he was on the plane, he got off, and then the planes crashed right into the Pentagon. Uh, or World is, Trade Center. He was hung over, so it's kind of a nice little, hey, maybe you should drink. Yeah, maybe. Eh, it's That's not bad. Relapse. I never had anything work out like that for me. But All right, well, hey, you're young. Life is long. <laughs> okay, so finally we get going. Red Eye, which never works out. Red Eye well, to... Well, not in coach, it doesn't. No, no. Red Eye to uh, Amsterdam, seven hours. You know, you get an hour here, or 20 minutes there. You want to kill yourself. You finally land. It's 8 in the morning in Amsterdam, and they always say, with the jet lag... Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Get in the sun. Yes. Get some sun. Don't nap. It's like a like a concussion. You know, in the movies, they go, I'm so cold. They go, don't go out. Don't fall asleep. And they're slapping the guy, putting water on him. I just want to go to, I want to go out. They won't let him. Right. That's how you feel in Amsterdam. So I'm kind of hitting the lady, and she's a sleeper. She's like a Cosby victim, narcoleptic, uh, just a snooze bag. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going, hey, hey, fatty, come on, you big whore. Come on, you dick slurping cum guzzler. Stay up. And she's like, ah, I want to go to bed so bad. So I go, come on. We check in. We get out the house. And I, now now I'm dad mode. I'm trying to keep her up. Sure. And I'm like, well, what do we do? I didn't make any plans. We're just in Amsterdam mm-hmm. walking around. So I go, oh, we walk around. She's like, ah, well, we got to do something. We got to go in somewhere. It's raining. Uh, the whole trip's ruined. It rained every single day. But it can be romantic. It's like hard rain. Because sometimes Paris, it rains. It's romantic. It's yeah. got the shine on the street. Yes, and... yes. There was a drizzle some days, but mostly hard rain's going to fall. Yeah. So that kind of ruined the fuck out of it. So I go, you just want to go in somewhere. But you go in somewhere, you got to buy something, you know? Yeah, sure. So we go into the Heineken Museum. Oh. Sounds nice. Hey, that's where they make uh, Heineken is Amsterdam. So huge racket, fucking shit show. Don't ever go to the Heineken Museum. Stakes. It's a gift shop on acid. Yeah. I mean, it's one thing if Heineken, uh, you know, what do you call it? Brewery. The plant. It was the original brewery, but they turned it into a fucking nightclub type thing. Okay. Yeah. It stinks. You walk in, they go... Oh, this is uh, one of the first bottles. And you go, oh, that's something. Mm. And then you get in a rat maze, and then they go, this is an old vat from the 80s. Oh, God. And you're like, oh, great, a vat. And then they go, here's a Heineken, and they kick you out. It reminds me of this bullshit museum I saw in New Orleans, the Food and Beverage Museum. God. Another another one to cross off. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of it. <laughs> another one to cross off the list. Well, that's, boy, you're really tearing my whole family down uh, here. <laughs> They're going to see this and cut you out of the will. No, she won't see it, right? Uh, I'm ah, kidding. I, I had a great time there. Terrified you hate her. Who? Oh. The your lady mom? And my mom. Oh. All the women I know. I love your wife. All right. Yes. That makes one of us. So, yes. Molly. We uh, love you, baby. <laughs> hey, hey, Susan. Um, so. She really looks like a lily. <laughs> I'm kidding. The, the museum, food and beverage is great. <laughs> get out there. So, you know, time goes on. We get out of there. And then we go. I go, let's just get a drink. We get a drink. It's like, you know, two in the afternoon, one in the afternoon. The Heineken Museum was a bust. Okay. And we go, let's get a drink. We go into this, this bar. And I go, yeah, give me a vodka martini. I need something stiff. And they go, we don't know how to make that. I go, you don't want to make a martini? They go, no. And I go, all right, we're getting out of here. We get out of there. We go to a sex show. Okay. Because I was going to ask, what a sex show? What yes. about a weed thing? You pop into yes. the weed place. We did that as well. Okay. Okay. But, so we get the weed cake. Weed cake. We get the it's like a butt like a pound cake. Oh okay. weed. We get it. Nothing. The mm. guy goes, Hey, just eat a sliver. Eat a sliver. And I go, All right, all right. I don't want to be too high. I'm not a big high guy. But when in Rome, you get gay. So I take a sliver, nothing. You feel anything? No. Another sliver. You get anything? No, no. We ate the whole fucking thing. Bunk! We got rooked! You're like Elaine with the uh, the Entenmans or whatever you call yes, it, remember? Yes, yes, the Entenmans. But I ate the whole goddamn thing. And I nothing. Was, no, I was wiping it on my face. Nothing. Just fake. Now, this is bumming me out because you love Amsterdam. One I thing do. I know about you is you love Amsterdam. I but love it. Partly, it's probably, uh, what's the word? I'm like, compounded by how tired you yes, are. Yes, yes. So we go, we do the weed, nothing happens. I go... All right, well, we should go to a sex show, and she's game. She's like, I want to go to a sex show. We see the red light district. The whores out there, they look great. They stand in the windows. You've okay. been there. Yeah, yeah, but, I, you know. They look good. Yeah, i got to hand it to them. I mean, you got to look good if you're window dressing. Sure. What is window dressing? Well, I think it's like you put it on the window. 
Ah. Shades. But I think what it usually means, like, it doesn't mean anything, but it looks nice. Like a ah. lot of window dressing. Oh. Like it's a negative. Oh, it's a negative. Yeah, if you say it about, like, a comedian or uh, yeah. a thing. It's a lot of, it's a lot of window dressing. Aha. Uh -huh. No substance. Yeah, it's shitty, but you put a sheet on it or something. All Thanks. sizzle. No steak? There you go. Is that it? That's something. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Uh, so... We go back to the hotel and we go. Ah, well, we'll get a we'll get an umbrella or something. We go up to the room. No umbrella. Passed out. Ah, couldn't do it. You or her or both? Both. Just said, "I ah, will sit down for a second. We'll watch TV." <sighs> We're out. So you got no sleep on the plane. I mean, you got an hour. This is why, and again, people will email me and be like, "You don't know what it's like. You piece of shit." Yeah. But if you can. Getting those lie down seats I on the know. thing, it's huge. which I've only I never bought myself. I only ever had it when we did the TV show there, that uh, London shit. Yeah. Which is that ever coming out, by the way? I hope not. Joke off. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, I bombed the whole. That was a rough experience. But so fun, other than the thing. The breakfast yeah. was great. The hang. The London was amazing. The spots, the hang. Yeah, the hotel was incredible. But ooh, that show, that was traumatizing a little bit. Yeah, it wasn't good. But. What can you do? Yeah, we had a good time otherwise. But anyways, hopefully it comes out. But you know, they gave us the fur the, the lay down seats, and if you can sleep on those, well, game changer. Crew, I had no jet lag in London. Zero, zero. So I, I wake us up in like an hour, and I'm like, ah, we, we got to get up, we got to get And she was like, no, I'm staying here. Now you're fucked, yeah. You're fucked, but I, I got her up, we got out, we went right to the red light district, we bought some shrooms. Okay. Went in Rome. Then go. We didn't. We didn't eat them yet. We go. We're gonna save these for tomorrow and go to a museum. We're gonna go to see Van Gogh Museum on shrooms. All right, that away. So the weed cookie did nothing. We got totally screwed. We go to the sex show. Forty bucks each. Not bad. Not bad. You go in. It's a full bar with a bunch of seating. Stripper on stage. Hot. Denmark blonde, Danish. Oh, Danish. Yeah, she, she'd eaten a few. And she's a bigger gal, but she's pretty. Okay. Now she starts... Denmark Normand. She starts twerking and twacking, and a guy comes out and starts banging her. Sounds about right. It was fun, but the guy was short and fat and couldn't get it up. It was brutal. I think we got the bad show. Jesus. Chuck, how long have you been working in Amsterdam? <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, this guy's going, hold on, and he's doing this shit. He's flipping it up and down. And oh. the lady's going, oh, my God. You know, and we're all watching going, is this really happening? Like, what's going on here? We got the B squad or something. <laughs> we got the, the backdoor shit show because this was, I could have done this better. The guy had a... The hog the size of mine, which is already a letdown. Yeah. And he couldn't get it up. And the lady looked like Chuck's dad. <laughs> the, whole thing was, the whole thing was shit. We went to the, like, the, the you know, the, 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 what do you call it? The off brand or whatever. Yeah. We went to, like, the, the, minor league. The, 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 the bag cereal. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Yeah, the miners. Well, I could have used the miner. <laughs> it would have been hotter. This lady had seen a few winters. But yeah, this was rough. The guy couldn't get it up. Eventually, he gets a bit of a marshmallow in a keyhole situation. <laughs> so what goes on? Like, tell, what's the vibe? Because my only knowledge of sex show is The Godfather 2, and, and it, it's tied oh, yeah. up and the thing, and, and, and oh, then the I whole wish. secret's revealed. What, what happened? So the lady, it was her idea to see it. She's like, I went in college. We went to Amsterdam on a big trip. We saw a sex show. It changed my life. It was the hottest thing ever. I'm like, oh, oh wow. wow. Okay. And she's into it. Okay. So changed my life. it was a revolving br uh, bed with a lady on it, and the girl had braces, she said, which I was like, all right. Braces? On her legs or teeth? Uh, teeth. And then uh, the guy comes in, and he was like, I had a huge hog, and he was ripped, and he banged her shit out of her, and it looked like it hurt and all this. The whole thing was exciting. So I was like, all right, let's find that. I want to see these braces. Yes. I have a passion for orthodontry. And uh, we got something else. You know, we got the, uh, well, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess the miners. You know, not the good brand. We got the off brand. Shitty off brand. Generic. 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 Um, yes, we got generic the generic. Stinkeroo. Well, no, it's worse than generic because generic's middle. Yeah. This was bottom 
shelf. Demula's brand. Uh, Demula's. Uh, that was <laughs> that was a grocery store in uh, Massachusetts. Ah. So I just thought it sounded like a disease when I was a kid. It was like my early bit. I was yeah. like, that sounds like a disease, and all the family was like. Ah. Oh, He's fun. brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the bull is. That's how I felt when I went to Magoobies, ah. and it's in Timonium. Yes. And I was like, oh, Timonium sounds like an element. And they're like, yeah, everybody says that. Yeah, yeah I did that shit. one, too. Yeah, there you go. I said medicine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got to take your Timonium. We got to discover Timonium. <laughs> so <clears throat> this guy can't get it up. So then... He finishes, you know, he's like, oh, it's so fake. And then they leave. Then this other gal comes on and she goes, who wants to come up here and be my slave or whatever? And one guy, and this guy, he must be 18. He's like right out of college, short hair, wide eyed, just hunky little young college kid. Wow. Clearly a virgin. So she puts him down. Sits on him, facing him, straddling him, and she goes, "Take my bra off!" Oh my God, she had a bra on. Well, she's she's got the bra and panties at first. Oh, this is the beginning. The beginning. This is yeah. like Tarantino story. Yes. I don't know if this is after so the guy came. No, no, oh, that that guy's gone. Oh, that guy got fired. He's out on the streets. He's riding the rails. I'm okay. sure he couldn't get it up at a sex show. That's got to be public enemy number one. Yeah. So this guy is a young guy, not in the show, but he's getting straddled, and she goes, "Take my bra off." She's got the little thingy. The headpiece. Oh, yeah. And uh, he, he can't get the bra off. So we're all dying laughing. This oh kid's 18. He's, he's probably he's a virgin. He's freaking out. This is fun. I wonder if they put a trick bra just to get the laughs. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe. This is getting me a little uh, tingly. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm booking a flight to Amsterdam. Well, if you, saw, if you saw the women, you might uh, not tingle. Yeah, I'm married a long time. Okay, good point. So he can't get the bra off, and uh, eventually she goes, take your shirt off. And he goes, I don't want to. And she was like, come on, take your shirt off. And he's like, I don't want to. So she takes her panties off, and she starts sitting on his face. What? Yes. Book me a flight. Get a flight, (laughs) coach. So uh, premonition. So that was pretty cool. And he's like, he's doing the kid with the medicine. Oh, my God. So that was fun. Uh, we get out of there. We go, hey, that was all right. You know, that was a little bad, a little good. It, it was like a comedy show where somebody bombed so bad. It was it was actually entertaining. Mm-hmm. That's what it felt like. And she was like, ah, that's not the sex show I saw. Fuck it. That, that sucked. I'm disappointed now. We go back. We have to take our malaria pills. Ah, timonium. Yes, because, you know, when you go to Africa, you got to take them a couple days before, during, and after. Jesus. Uh, Or else you get malaria and die. So we take the malaria pills. I don't know what happened. An hour later, we're at a bar. Stomach pain, like you Uh, wouldn't believe. Oh, my God, like like the last episode. Yes. two episodes, whatever. But it was just like, ah, I felt like somebody was stabbing me with a dagger. And I, you know, she's usually got some stomach shit. I I rarely have stomach shit. Like what I had with here, I just took a shit and I was fine. Mm -hmm. This, I took eight shits. I was trying to drink it away. I think it was the medicine, Jerry. It makes sense. I mean, you take medicine, then your stomach hurts. But it was like, ah, uh, and I was like, I have to go home. I felt it so bad. I was ruining the trip, but I was like, I got to go home. Oh we go back God. to the hotel. I slept from that moment through the next day and woke up the next night. Oh, I ruined geez. the whole trip. Oh. That's a whole day gone. Oh, I was wrecked. I, I remember I tried to get up, and I couldn't get up, and I had to like crawl to the bathroom to take a whiz, and I crawl back, and ba- I had no energy. I don't know what. Call in if you know what this is. Maybe uh, did you, if you did you Google side effects malaria medicine? I didn't do that. Because maybe it gives you a piece of malaria. Oh. Some medicines do that. Because that was like the thing with the vaccine. They give you a little bit of the thing. That's how vaccines used to work. Yes, yes. So maybe it's a malaria. They give you a little malaria. Maybe I got a little malaria. They give you like malaria. Yes. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm just uh, uh, spitballing here. But yeah. All right. So Epstein's a bust. And she's like bummed she's like you're sick we lost a day she sat in the lobby and read ah. i slept the whole day she i was gonna look for the braces uh, that's what i said go find braces. she likes to go with me she doesn't want to go alone i don't know that's fair so stomach flu ruined everything so now i'm waking up and i'm like i'm gonna be good husband fun guy party animal good travel buddy so it's new year's eve now we gotta have plans you can't just I'm so bad at this because I want to just leave the hotel. I like to just walk and see what happens. Yes, same here. She's like, where do we? Where are we going? I'm like, I'm just walking. She's like, ah. So we take the shrooms. 
It's like 11 in the morning. We're, we're so out of shit to do that we take the shrooms. Let them go. Let's go to the Van Gogh Museum. We pop these shrooms like right on the sidewalk like idiots. We chug a Coca-Cola, get them down. They taste horrible. I've never tasted a shroom like this. They look weird, but I, I figure, ah, it's, it's, it's Europe. This Maybe. is post-stomach issue. Next day. Oh, my God. Because don't mushrooms make you throw up sometimes? Yeah, yeah, but I, I got to push through. I got to be a good travel guy. I don't want to be the, the downer. Okay. And, and I feel so guilty about losing the day. So I go, all right, this is it. It's New Year's Eve. I'm still a little wonky from the flight and the stomach and the malaria and the AIDS. So I go, travel guy, good buddy. Pop the shrooms. We're pushing through. We go to the Van Gogh Museum. Line around the block, sold out a month in advance. Oh, ah, Never thought God. about that. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, there's another museum down the road. The Modern Art Museum. Can I just say I fucking hate modern art? Yeah, that's fair. I love uh, I love the uh, the uh, the ancient the cl- paintings. The classics. The classic. What do you call those? Uh, Renaissance. Yes, yes. The abstract. Uh, the blue period. What's with the the dots? Yeah. Impressionists. The, uh, Impressionists. Monet. Yes. Manet. Tippy tippy day day. We go to the Contemporary Art Museum. Forty bucks. Line around the block. We get in. Shrooms are kicking in a little bit. Okay. But they're not fun. You're like, ugh, what is this? I feel weird. Like, I feel bummed out, and then I feel sad, and I feel uncomfortable. I think you're describing marriage. Ah. <laughs> well, that, I guess it kicked in just then. Yeah, okay. But I was like, oh, this sucks. And we pay the tra- the ticket, we get in, and it's... A modern art exhibit, there's two big exhibits. One is about slavery and how fucked the black man got and how evil white people are. Sounds like a Golden Globes monologue. (laughs) So I'm like, okay, this is a bummer. huh? I'm already bummed with the shrooms, but now I'm trying to enjoy this and, and take it all in. Okay. So I go, let's see the other exhibit. It's by this lady. They show a photo of her. She's like... Black hair, white skin, angry, black outfit, cutter, pissed off, gothy. Okay. I go, oh, this will be great. We go in, and it's a room. The, oh, the door opens, and it's just a room full of black tires. I guess all tires are black, but just stacked up tires and okay. metal beams and music going, gah, 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 gah. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? And I look uh. on the wall, it says, youth. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck is this? So the lady's having a meltdown. She's like, ah, I'm freaking out. This is, I'm so sad. I'm so scared. What is this? Oh. Where's the art? Where's the oil painting? Where's the Monet? Where's the water lilies, Just Jerry? give me a painting of the mountains and a lake and a big fat pair of tits. The yes. tits with the, the, the squeezy tits yes, that look like a butt. the squeezies. And the naked baby. Or a statue of a guy with a tiny dick and no arms. And no arms, that's right. Yes, yes, yes David. So I'm like, ah, she's freaking out. I'm on shrooms. I'm bummed out. White guilt. The tires. I, I look. I'm in a. I'm in a haunted auto zone here. That's what it feels like. She's like, let's get the fuck out of here. I'm like, ah, fine. We go back out. It's raining. Now we're out in the rain. We're bummed out. We're on shrooms. We walk to the park. We're just got the jackets over the head. Where do we go now? We're wandering through neighborhoods. Nightmare. This is brutal. These shrooms are hell. I don't know what I eat, and I finally just corner a guy. I just see a guy on the side, and I grab my lapels, and I kick his dog, and I go, what's up with the shrooms here? He goes, oh, they're uh, they're different here. There's a name for them. They're not shrooms. They're... Might have to give that a goo. Dutch ovens? Yeah, they're called something else. Well, what's another word for shrooms? Uh, psilocybin. No, no, that's the that's the fun stuff. Um, not mushroom, but, you know, it's like not a frog, a clams. toad. It says uh, a guide to Amsterdam's magic truffle smart truffles. shop. Truffles! Truffles! They're called truffles there. Okay. Some guy, I get, I'm get. i just cornering a guy on the side. I got him up against the wall. I'm like, what's going on with the shrooms? And he goes, they're truffles. They're actually truffles here. A guy jumped off a building in America, and he took shrooms, and they sold the shop. He jumped off a building and died, so they stopped selling them. Oh, God. Big <laughs> truffle, little China. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, truffles. I'm a pig. I sniffed them out, and it ruined the whole fucking day. So what's the difference? So truffles, they they just get you weird because it feels like the, out. Some of it, the the tires just sound shitty. 
That was shitty, but yeah. it was just scary, and you just like we didn't get we wanted we were so we were talking about Van Gogh, oh the scream and all this shit. Did he do the scream? I don't know the cutting the ear I off. The Van Gogh, he's fun. I saw the scream. That's in Oslo. Ah, oh that's fun. Yeah, I saw it right. one time. Okay, well it's weird to say. I'm like I've, I've actually compiled many of the most famous paintings. Mona Lisa. I saw the Mona Lisa. I saw the. That's uh, in Paris. I saw the, uh, the scream, the scream. In Oslo, Sweet and then in Oslo. Uh, what was the other one? I saw the Star of David there, yeah, the armless yeah, that's guy, the temple, um, all the ones at the Louvre that you see, yes, yes, and then all the ones at the Chicago Museum, the Picasso and the big by the lake, the river. Oh, you saw the other uh, in the, the park. What do you call that? The, the park uh, Sistine. Thing. I didn't see the Sistine. All right, that one's pretty good. I love a yeah. Sistine-year-old. But yeah, all right, so. We uh, the whole day's a bust, and uh, we get out of there. We so got many the busts. Truffles. So she goes, "I'm a member of this house. This is how desperate we are." She goes, "I'm a member of the Soho House." Right. Let's see if there's a Soho House in Amsterdam. There is. And I was like, "Let's just go there. It's shelter. It's warm. There's couches. There's a bar." We go there, and we, as the British would say, we rock up at the bar. And I go, "Give me an old fashioned," and I'm just ah, I'm wet. <laughs> Just like an old cat. I'm just like, ah, shrooms, uh, the tires. And they go, ah, give me an old fashioned. They give her a, ca- a wine, and we start to kind of come out of it. And we're like, that was hell. What was that? I mean, this is four hours of bullshit we just did. And we're starting to like come out with the, the, the truffles, and we go, we got to regroup here. It's New Year's Eve. It's four in the afternoon. We have nothing to do tonight. The whole trip sucks. I suck. I got stomach cancer. I'm bumming her out. The shrooms are gay. So we kind of regroup, and we get on our phone, and we go, what do you do on New Year's? We just caved. <laughs> what do you do on New Year's? Ah, this is just the beginning of the story. It's Fuck. all expectations. You I got know. too much expectations. You're right. And responsibility. Where are you, you got too much responsibility on you. Well, you picture. I go to Am- you'll, you'll be whisked away by a Dutchman in clogs. And he puts a joint in your mouth and he puts a thumb up your ass and goes, "Here's the hookers," and that's it. Right. It actually takes some research and planning and some some responsibility. I suppose so. All right. So we get the New Year's thing, and she goes, "I just she just just sacked up and took control." It's like I booked us a restaurant. We're getting dinner. And then there's fireworks here, and I go, great. Nice. So she nailed it. But fireworks in the rain. Well, it kind of tapered a little bit. Okay, we, okay. We go to the cool restaurant. Restaurant's packed. Everybody there is hot. Beautiful <laughs> people I know, there. and they have the, the underwear triangle on the oh, bike. Oh, I love a triangle. Did you get to see any underwear bike triangles? I saw many, many triangles, oh. but it's rainy and cold, so there was it was wet triangle. I know, but if you're not familiar, folks, everyone rides bikes out there. They wear skirts, they wear dresses, and they got a little triangle right in the bike area and you just kind of lean in and say sorry i'm a tourist and uh boy it's really something (laughs) it's not bad ding ding on the bike uh, bell but yeah so we go to this restaurant we have a great time they they do the uh the the servings you know you get the one the two the three the four the cocktails we go outside we're in a town or a part of it called de bip uh, De Bip. You know De Bip? I don't know De Bip. That's where everybody says that's where the locals go. They okay. go to De Bip. So we go to De Bip, and it's just young people. We go outside the restaurant. <laughs> Everybody's out in the street, and they're going, gua, ging, goo, whatever their <laughs> language is for the countdown. <laughs> and gua, gua, siga. And Bob Seger? We get to one, night moves. We get to one, and they fucking all just pull a big zippo out and they go, and they light this thing. The whole city goes up. I got a black head going by me. I got a Roman candle going over here. Oh, it's fireworks. Fireworks. I didn't know what the fuck you were talking about. (laughs) I thought you lit a tree or a bonfire. I didn't know what the hell you were talking about. Black head. A blackhead, something you squeeze on oh, your wife's sorry. back. Well, we squeeze the life out of this night. I've uh, never seen you like this. I'm dying here, man. I'm freaking out. So, <sighs> sorry. Okay, so fireworks I'm, I'm jet happened. Lag. Fireworks all down the street. People on the roof throwing them at us. It was fucking awesome. Oh, wow. It was People great. throwing fireworks at you. It was, well, they're throwing them at each other. There's hot girls in dresses and heels. Woo! <laughs> Throwing them at me, and I'm like, yeah, high fiving people. They all have champagne bottles. It was very European. Oh, I love Europe. It was great, and we're on the canals. The rain had stopped. Fireworks all over the sky. They're they're legal there, right? So they just go nuts with them, and it's just zipping by you. And I'm sure people died. 
but there's just boxes of fireworks exploding in the street, and the canals are lit up from all the fireworks and the reflection. That sounds nice. Now we're talking. Yes, the, the booze had kicked in, the shrooms had gone away, or the truffles, and uh, man, it was, uh, it sa- she saved us. Thank Christ. And I know. Dinner was nice? Dinner was nice, it was great, and uh, the fireworks saved it, and then we go, we're leaving the next day to fly to Cape Town. Old Cape Town. Oh, yeah. Now, what's that flight, Amsterdam to Cape Town? Nine hours, 10 hours, 12 hours? Big 12. 12, uh, 12 incher. Now, what, do you have decent seats this time around? Coach again. Big mistake. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, we got the 12 hour to Cape Town coach. Lady was annoyed again. And now we land. We're cracked out. She had middle seat, by the way. Don't ask me. Who picked that seat for? Well, middle seat, if you a loved one is next to you, is not horrible. Not horrible. As long as you can say, hey, scooch, and get up. I don't know if I was loved. Mm-hmm. So it was middle all the way. But we get there. By the way, what do we take? Air Link. Air Link. Shit box. Don't ever do it. It's a trash heap of a uh, airline. Never even heard of it. No. Air Link. It sounds like a, a, th- a way to transfer... Files. Yes. Yes, yes. Not good. Pedophiles. So we get there. Finally, another red eye. Actually, no. We got there. We took off and we landed. We took off at like 10. We landed at 10. And then we get there and she goes, what are we doing? This this is weird. The airport's weird. It, it's South Africa, so it's a little janky. Uh-huh. You think South Africa is nice in Cape Town and Charlize Theron and uh, no, I don't Elon think that Musk. At all. <laughs> You don't think that? No. Uh, but, well, no, I got it's... South African in-laws, so ah. I know what I, I got all. I know all the the ins and outs over I there. I see. I see. Ins and out burger. I think there's like twelve people that are extremely wealthy. That's it. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. Okay. So, by the way, everybody shits on us. They're way fucked up more. Of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well. I'm fucked up more. <laughs> I'm talking out of my uh, dick hole here. Way uh, fucked up more needs to be the title of this episode. <laughs> but yeah, that's every country. I guess so. They die, but they're still throwing bananas at black soccer players in, in Europe and I shit. I was once I did that. <laughs> we're but... Like, well, we're fantastic over here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you want to throw a banana at me? I'll eat it, by the way. Yeah. But all right. Well, so I we get there. a history, you know. <laughs> So, uh, I don't think it's like underhand, like, hey. Uh, yeah, I, I figured. Just, whew, thank you. <laughs> I need a snack. So we get there. Now, it's just another thing of like, we're in a foreign land. I don't have a cell phone service. We're in this fucked up airport. 12-hour flight. You're wonky. You just don't want to figure shit out. Of course. You know, you just want it to be done and just have somebody pick you up. And she goes, well, what are we going to do? Which hotel are we at? I'm like, I don't know. I, I'm so bad with this shit. So, we get spoiled by comedy. Too. I know. Exactly. You comedy, you land, and you're like, oh, there's Scott from Hilarities picking me up and taking me to the, the hotel with the, the dings. Exactly. And I booked the thing. I paid for the thing. So I just figure, like, all right, my work's done. I'll just go on it. Sure. So, But that ain't it, Daffy. Wasn't that your bit? That's a no-no, too, Daffy. What was that from? That was from the fire safety with the Looney Tunes. Oh, wow. What yeah. a reference. Yeah. It was always weird because people were like, that's a really funny to use the name Daffy. And I'm like, well, I'm referencing a commercial. Yeah. I was I like, never I've never met it. anyone named Daffy. Yeah. You got it or didn't get it? I didn't get it. No, no. Now I get it. Yeah. But I didn't get it before. It was a commercial for, you could probably find it in, uh, somewhere, but it's a commercial for uh, what to do in the case of a fire. Uh-huh. I hide under the bed. That's a no-no too, Daffy. Right. Daffy tries to hide under the bed. Right, right. Daffy's going to burn to death. Did you see that? Okay. Uh, You'll find it. All right. So I guess I thought it was a huge reference, but nobody understood. Yeah. Damn. I've been thinking about that for 10 years. Yeah. I blew it. eh, That's fine. So uh, the people who got it, got it. Yeah. So uh, we get to to the airport, and we got our bags finally. Checking a bag. Nightmare, by the way. Sure. She had to check a bag. She's got big dildos and lipstick. So we go out to the exit, and we see a sign. Mark and May. Hey. I didn't realize I booked a guide. It's Scott from Hilarities. Yes, he's there. <laughs> she opened. Good crowd. Uh, check spot was tough. But we get this old lady, cute little old lady. She's about four foot nothing. She goes, hey, I- I'm going to bring you to your hotel. Okay. And we go, oh, my God. 
So she's driving us. Her husband's her husband's in the car. He's driving. They pick us up right outside. She goes, "Here's your itinerary. Tomorrow, you guys do whatever you want. The next day, I will pick you up at eight a.m. We will. I'll give you a full tour of Cape Town, like you paid for, and all." I'm like, "Oh!" And the, the lady's like, "Good for you. This is great. Thank God you figured something out. I have no idea any of this was happening." We get to the hotel. Hotel's amazing. Five star. Then they they go by Rand. Have you heard of this? Yes, I know about Rand. Rand McNally. Yes. <laughs> so everything is like like a hamburger would be nine million Rand. So right. you feel like a king. Because you got a fifty. A fifty is like eight hundred Rand. Okay. So you're like, oh my God. Amsterdam was a little pricey. Here, I'm I'm a Sultan of Brunei. Sure. Which, where is Brunei? I never heard that till you said it. You never heard of Sultan Brunei? Brunei, the science guy. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know Brunei. You know, I voted for Brunei Sanders. <laughs> but uh, Indonesia. <laughs> okay. Okay. Brunei. I don't know where I heard that in a movie when I was ten, and I never forgot it. There you Sultan go. Brunei. All right. So we get to uh, we get to the hotel. The hotel's amazing. She's she's on my dick again. We got uh, we got she's champagne back. in the room. They know it's the honeymoon. <clears throat> By the way, you can just book hotels and say it's your honeymoon. I remember going yeah. to Laguna Beach on my honeymoon, and they were like, honeymoon? You didn't tell us that. And they went and got us a basket of jizz. And I was yeah. like, oh, jeez, I'm just going to start saying it's my honeymoon. You know what else you can do? You can go to a, a restaurant and go, I'm going to propose, and they fucking pull out the stops. That's not bad. I've done it a few times. Didn't The girlfriends didn't like it. But <laughs> um, uh, So, hotel's great. Now, they don't tell you this. Cape Town, power goes out randomly in the whole city for about an hour or two every day. What? I'm like, huh. I'm like... I go down to the lobby. I'm an idiot. I'm like a hayseed. I'm like, yeah, hey, the power's out. They're like, yeah, yeah, it's Cape Town. I'm like, five star hotel. And they go, it's the whole city. They go, oh, they go, that's just the thing here. I was like, okay. You go back up. We're just sitting in the dark. Wow. Power's out. So we go, ah, oh, let's go hit the town. Beautiful of Marina, Cape Town. There's, there's uh, seals swimming around the boats and okay. all this shit. Great time. We go out to dinner. Food sucks. But it's cheap. We get drunk. Whatever. Go back to bed. We wake up. Beep, 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 7.30. We're getting picked up by Sandy. Oh, Sandy. Remember Sandy, the old lady. Oh, same Sandy. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is where it gets wacky. Boy, what sucks if the power goes out when the alarm's supposed to go off. Like well, the phone. I got the phone, yeah. Okay. So, Sandy picks up. By the way, the breakfast of this hotel was unbelievable. That These these Europeans, or I guess that's Africa. But oh, remember the Langham? <laughs> the Langham, of course. I love the Langham. Same breakfast. No just, kidding. Just laid out everything. Salmon, avocado, mimosas, fruit, vegetables, wow. meats. Europe eggs. is the best. Europe and, and the southern, southern tip of Africa yes. are both fantastic. Very similar. And uh, okay. So we get out with Sandy, oh. and I'm just going to break it down. I hope she never hears this. <clears throat> they don't have podcasts in Africa. No, they don't have power. For the first two hours, it was first of all she's seventy five years old. Okay, she's driving a like a Land Cruiser, big big Jeep Toyota thing with a stick shift. They drive on the other side, the the wheels on the other side, so the whole thing's wonky. It's early in the morning. She's like, uh, "Yeah, I'm going to show you the whole Cape Town." After twenty minutes, I wanted to kill myself. <laughs> she's stopping every ten minutes, going, "See this bush? This is a formica leaf. It only grows in this area." And you're like. Okay, and then <laughs> we go another 10 feet, See, and I'm like, where are we going, and how long is it? And now, this is where I thought of you. Oh, I'd love to be thought of. Your wife is South African. Yes. You once told me years ago, and I never forgot it. I don't know if I should say this, but she won't answer two questions in a text. Yes, that's true. You know, you'll go, where are we eating and what time? She'll say McDonald's. Yes. And you're like, isn't that weird? She doesn't answer two questions. I'm like, yeah, that's weird. Whatever. Yes. I can't get an answer out of this woman. Interesting. And she's South African. I go, uh, you're from here? Born and raised? And uh, what part are you from? She goes, born and raised. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm looking back at the lady. I'm in the front seat. I'm like, I'm getting no answer here. So the lady's born out of her mind, and she goes, I just want to hear about apartheid. Tell us about apartheid. She goes, oh, you don't want to hear about that. That is dark stuff. It's half dark. Yeah, so we're back to driving, and I'm like, this woman's not answering any questions. She's telling us about bushes. This is brutal. So I'm like, well, where are we going? She's like, we're going to the tip. It's going to be like a three-hour drive. It's beautiful. And I go, well, how long, or not how long is it going to take, but how long are we going to be there? 
<laughs> like, okay, whatever. It's like my dad. Yeah, we get there. It's beautiful. We see uh, all the projects. She talks like that's the uh, the developmental housing. It's all there's no plumbing. These people hate each other. This is where all the rich people live. Rich people's beautiful, but it's like twelve rich people and the rest of the it's like eighty twenty. Right, rich whitey, and then just fucked. Sure. So we see ostrich. We see baboon. We see uh, penguins. Pretty cool. Wow, very cool. But. Penguins in South Africa, I, would, I never would have thought that. I know, they're weird. They Somebody dropped them off there and they reproduced. No kidding. So they have a beach that's just penguins. We saw them fucking. I got some video of it. Wow. So then... Like Catholics in America. Yes. So then she goes, uh, all right, so we're going to drive back. We'll get lunch. Then we'll go to the botanical gardens. And I love a botanical garden. Well, this lady is so mm. grating that I'm like, talking to the lady, I'm like, I can't, I can't do... Another few hours with because she won't tell us when it ends. Now, why is the lady behind you? What is this? A three way motorcycle? What's going on here? It's a land cruiser. She wanted me in the front. Oh, you're in the front. I'm and in she's the front. In the back. She's in the back. I see. And I would kill to be in the back, but she wanted me in the front. She's like, what am I, an Uber driver? And I'm like, okay, I'll sit in the front. Interesting. So, long story short, I go, all right, let's get something to eat. And then we'll go to the botanical gardens and then we'll go home. She's like, okay, we'll see what happens. She won't let us go home. Like, I was kind of like, Hinting, like, ah, I'm kind of done with this. This is kind of brutal. I've had this, yeah. And she won't, she's like, oh, he's so crazy, shut up. And I'm like, all right. And she's kind of being cunty to me, and I'm like, I'm the client here. I'm the customer. Yes. But whatever. We had this in Ecuador with the bird lady. Oh, really? It was really? a bird lady, and it was me and Ari and his boyfriend and, and Sarah, and we saw all the birds, and we were like, all right, yeah, we got it. Yeah. And she was like, no, no, many more birds. And we are like this. We don't need any more birds. Yes, but they don't like that. We saw six birds, and we're out of here. And then there was the same exact thing. We had to have a fight. We are like, we want to go home. She's like, but you paid for four hours. And I'm like, I know. I paid. We're done with one hour. It's like going to a diner and going, all right, it comes with this, this, and this. I don't want the toast. Oh, you're getting the toast. <laughs> I don't want the toast. But and more than that, it's like, put that toast in your mouth. Yes, <laughs> yes. Shit, you yeah. enjoy it, you fucking <laughs> So, like, all right. So she's giving me lip and all this shit, and I'm looking back, and the lady's like, I don't know, this is crazy. So finally, we go to lunch, and I buy her lunch. She talks you the whole the lady time. lady lunch? I didn't know what to do. She's sitting across from us. And we couldn't get any alone time. And at one point, I asked the lady something, and I'm like, so what's up with uh, this? Like, something only we would know about? And she goes, whoa, whoa, what do you, who's this? Oh, really? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is this now? The lady's like, on to us? She, she, oh, she won't allow us to have a minute. So I'm like, this is it. I'm getting rid of this lady. That's it. I'm cutting down the botanical gardens. Fuck a garden. We're going home. I want to. This is my honeymoon. I want to live it up. I don't want to fuck Sandy. So Sandy Hook. That's what I call her. Give her so, the hook. Yes. So <laughs> give her the Sandy Hook. We go to lunch, and she, it's been like six hours now. We're with her. Ugh. So she's kind of swerving, and Ooh. I go, "Hey, Sandy, you okay?" She goes, "Oh, I fell asleep." And I what? go. What the fuck? She's like, well, you know, I, uh, it's been a long day. It's a lot of sun. We just ate. I'm tired. I'm like, she's like, I got to pull over. I got to rest. Like, Come on. I swear to God. And I go, rest? What are you talking about? We got to get home. And she goes, we got to get to the botanical gardens. So I'm like, well, rest at the botanical gardens. That's what I said. I said, all right, well. Sleep in a flower bed, I'm, you sleepy cunt. I'm calling an audible. So I go, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping Cuts, the worst Disney movie ever. <laughs> but so I go, all right, we'll go to the gardens. We'll go in. You sleep in the car. We'll walk the grounds a little bit and we'll come back and get the fuck out of here. Not bad. So she goes, okay, I have vouchers to the garden. I'm a tour guide. I own this town. So we get to the fucking window and she's like, Oh, geez. Uh, she's like fiddling through her fanny pack. Like, I, I have my I have. There's a big line behind it. I have it. I have it. You know, and the lady's like, ma'am, could you pull over and let the other bill go? And she's like, I have the vouchers. I'm, I'm so tired. I'm tired. Oh, my <laughs> God. Like, what the fuck is going what on? What is this lady? So she goes, I need a coffee. So I go, I'll get you a coffee. I'll get you. I go to the gift shop of the gardens. I get her a coffee. I come back. She's still fighting with the lady. There's people in behind her going like, what is going on? One lady's like, ma'am, she's fighting with a lady on the side. It was crazy. So I go, Sandy, we'd want to go home. We don't care about the gardens. We want to go home. And she's like, well, I still need to rest. She never got the rest. 
And I was like, I will drive this car. She's like, Kramer. I know. I was like, I'll drive this car back. She's like, it's two hours. I'm like, I'm fine. I'll drive it back. She's like, it's the other side of the road. I'm like, I will drive it back because that's how desperate I am. Yes. So she slurps down the coffee. She chews out the lady behind the window one more time. I apologize to her. She sits down on a bench and she goes, well, I don't need a rest now. I'm up because she was fighting. There you go. And I go, okay, this has been pretty rough. We'd like to go home. And she goes, you should divorce him. He is so controlling. Now she's trashing me to the wow. lady. Wow. Well, she I'm makes like, a good point, but still, I it's know. not her place. And the lady was like, oh, you know, you, you got something there, but we'd like to go home. So she was like, fine. So now she's mad at us. So she's driving us home. We get two hours. You know, it's a long ride back, awkward ride back. She's still pointing out bushes. I'm like, just go. Just what go. Bushes? And I, we finally get to where we're going, to where like the, the town is, and there's a big building. She goes, you know what that building is? She's driving like this. You know what that building is right there? You see that? And we're oh, in traffic, God. going fast. And I'm like, yeah, 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 it's a building. She goes, that's the, uh, the tobacco distributor. I go, okay. And she's done it, and then she almost hits a homeless guy. Oh, my God. I, I mean, it's loved crazy. Her. <laughs> that would have turned everything around for me. Yeah, she almost killed a kook. And I and she's like, oh, Jesus, I got to get into gear. And I go, Sandy, you're talking with your hands. You got to keep your hands on the wheel. And she goes, oh, oh, you are a real piece of work, buddy. And I'm like, you could kill us. You already fell asleep on the road. You fight with the botanical gardens, coos. What are you doing? So we get back, and she goes, all right, I'll see you at 8 a.m. tomorrow. And I go, what's tomorrow? She goes, well, we got to do the, the wineries. And I'm like, will you have it for the week? We had it for three days. Oh, so I get back in and I, you know, we close the door. It's that f- classic marriage shit where you're just like, "What the fuck was that? That was crazy. She's a psycho. She's brutal. Uh, I can't go tomorrow." And she's like, "Well, we got to go tomorrow." I'm like, "I can't go tomorrow. I'm not going tomorrow. I'm asserting. I'm putting my foot down." Love it. And she's like, "Well, what are we gonna do?" I'm like, "We're gonna text her today at some point and not go tomorrow. This is our honeymoon. We don't have to we don't have prisoners. No. Fuck Sandy. So we go out and have a great time at dinner. We get get a few drinks in us and we fuck and we have some champagne and we compile an email. Oh. And it took about 3 days or 3 hours to compile it cuz we're so we feel so bad. Yes, yeah, Sandy. But we had to do it and you know it was one of those things like, "Now nah, delete that." Ah, you're being a little too nice there. Okay. And then we finally just Ah. Push send, and we sent it. Uh oh. And that was it. We went to bed. You heard back from Sandy? Didn't hear back. Ah. But. Was she in the lobby the next day? Well, that's the thing. Oh boy. It was an eight o'clock pickup. Okay. We wake up at about ten thirty. We wake up at ten thirty. <laughs> Sandy. I hope you guys have a great marriage. That's it. That's not bad. Well, That's more than I got from my dad on my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, but I, you know, it, it, some stank on that. Yeah, it's not great. It's not like you sure, really. It's just like I uh, wish you well. Fuck yeah. off. Okay. Which I'll take. I'll take. Yeah. And By the way, if she heard this, nothing terrible here. What? I've been trashing her. Yeah, you just told her that what happened. If it's true, uh, I mean, it's true. Yeah, it's not like you said she's an old cunt who should die. Yeah. Maybe I sh- can we change her name in she's, post? Sandy's not going to hear this. Yeah, well, you have to... Well, here, here, here. Sure. make it Mandy? We Brandy? Mandy? Let me get a clean Mandy in. Mandy, you, you Brandy? Oh, He's going to oh, have to say oh, Brandy 25 times. Just say it once. I'll, I'll change it. All right. What about Kathy? Me and Kathy. You got it? Yeah. But what about Sandy Hook? We got to lose Sandy Hook. Oh, great we'll Sandy, Sandy Hook, Hook jokes. Oh, Sandy. Who cares? She's, Sandy, she's, she's 75 South Africa. South Africa. Tired. Tired. Oh, she's over a there. sweet little old lady. She but just th- can't drive. If you're, her to, if you're telling the truth, that's okay. I'm telling you didn't the truth. You say anything bad. Yeah, you're fine. You just said she was looking and boring and, and okay. stupid and you couldn't stand to be with her. Yeah, yeah. That's not so bad. That's All not right. horrible. Okay, okay. She needs to hear it. Uh, we should mail her the fucking podcast. You, you didn't say she's a piece of shit. You said she's no. falling asleep. It's all no. true stuff. It's I true. I think she means well. She's she means just well. Yeah, there bad at her job. She means well. She hated you. She tried to get you divorced. She tried to get me divorced. She yeah. hated me. What is this? All right, all right. Sandy. Uh, she gave you malaria and a rash. I know, right? So. Why, you think she's going to hear it? I'm, she probably won't hear it. No. But she does have a couple kids. 
They're not. <laughs> also, I did lie. She said, "What do you do?" I said, "I'm in medical supplies." That's not bad. So then, she probably won't think I have a podcast. Yes. Yeah. This is quite a chain of leading her to listen to this. It's never going to happen. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. I just don't want to hurt her feelings, but who was she a horrible tour guide? So. I'll tell you, we woke up the next day at 10.30, went to breakfast, had the best day of our lives. Nice. No Sandy. No Sandy. And it was just a dream. Oh, that, that, I got problems. Oh. Oh, that was oh, adorable. Man, that, that was like a baby alien uh, communicating with his mother. <laughs> I think I think there's one in my pants. It was um, like this. Whoop. So Sandy's out. We have a great day, but there's so much more. We haven't even gotten to Safari. Oh, my God. So that's a whole other saga. Uh, saga hat, and uh, we'll uh, we'll pick it up next episode. Yes, but to it, be continued. Now, how much time do we have left? Oh, we're over an hour. We're I got one on one going here. Oh, you want to? You got anything? To, well, to... Uh, don't worry. We'll do it next time. Yeah, I got a whole build up. All right, all uh, right. Good. To be continued, but we got a bunch of dates coming up, including the Gramercy Theater, March fourteenth. And if you're hearing this, those tickets are on sale right now. Hopefully it's not sold out, but they're on sale now. Live yes. Tuesdays with Theater, Stories podcast. Live Tuesdays yes. with Stories episode. Yeah, big as Sandy's going to come on. Big <laughs> special <laughs> guest. Yeah, it's going to be a hot one. Big special guest. Stavros is out of town, he just said. But oh, we got really other big shit. special okay. guests. Bigger than him, I'll tell you that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Not fatter, but bigger yeah. famous-wise. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so anyways, March 14th, Gramercy Theater, and then uh, I got a bunch of hot Hit dates em. coming up. Denver Comedy Works, Woo! that's February 9th. One of the best in the biz. February 9th through 11. Um, I'm in Key West, February 2nd through the 4th. I got uh, Salt Lake City, that's in May. April nice. 15th, of course, is the Wilbur Theater. We're more than halfway sold with uh, four oh. months out. Well, you got these up on the dome. I know, I'm, 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 I'm obsessed now. Uh, Chicago is March 2nd. That's only half full. So get those tickets. Get on those tickets, for God's sakes. Uh, Chicago, March 2nd. What's I know we room? got a lot of Tuesdays there. That is Park West Ooh, Theater. Hey, nothing wrong with that. So, and I got a ton of shit coming up. People have been asking about Tacoma. That's going to be out in, um, in like October or something like that. Uh, what else is coming up? February, March. Fuck me in the ass. I got some other stuff coming. Uh, I'm going to shoot a special in the spring, I think. So uh, ComedianJoeList.com has all the dates. Go get those fucking tickets. But fill up Denver Comedy Works. And uh, Austin this weekend. No, that was last weekend. I can't keep track. Mohegan Sun this weekend. And uh, go subscribe to my YouTube, for God's sakes. Got to build that up for the next special. And uh, Mindful Metal Jacket will be back soon, I promise. Hell yeah. All right. Uh, MarkNormanComedy.com. I'm in Spokane, Miami. Uh... Let's see, Nashville will already be over. Uh, Hawaii, those tickets are not moving, so come on out. I mean, it's a reason to go to Hawaii, but say hello. Salt Lake City, Oxnard in L.A., that's not till Ooh. April. Chicago at the Vic Theater in March. Hold on. Oh, Jesus. And uh, all kinds of fun stuff. Toledo, Let's see, uh, did I say Spokane? Appleton, some rough dates coming up. Say hello. Got a got a taping in March, so uh, I gotta just tighten the shit out of this hour. So come see the finished product before it gets put on wax. Get a shirt. Get a mug. Say hello. Get on the Patreon. It's cooking. It's growing every day, and we'll see you at the grammar. Team.